System software can't update. Are you kidding me? For what? Ah, it doesn't matter at the moment. Okay, Emmett, hold still. I know your emotions are running a little wild, but what? don't do anything crazy. I've been less interested in one emotions. because. What emotions? My emotions oh, are I dead. I don't know what, but I've got a timer on now for so I know when to stop in time. Mm. Mm. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Oh dear. Stop! No. What are you doing up here? Don't jump! I wasn't gonna jump! Uh, then what do you- This is where I come when I want to think. Oh. When I want to be alone. Oh. Well, don't let me bother you. Go ahead and think. Can't you take a hint? I don't want you here. I don't need you. You don't know what you need. And you do? As a matter of fact, yeah. You need... ...to give your system a jolt. Take in a thriller, like Frankenstein. Frankenstein. I tell you that my very life force is drained away, and you want to talk about Hollywood monster movies. <laughs> it's a very inspirational monster movie. Especially the scene where they bring the monster to life. There's this big gurney that lifts him up into the air and... And see, there's this wild storm going on and lightning crashing everywhere. It's amazing. And you just gotta see it, Emmett. It'll change your life. Look at my helmet. Which light is flashing? Yellow. Apathy. I don't care about movies. I don't care about anything anymore. And I never will. Don't give me that. You care. still care about inventing things. <laughs> inventing is overrated. 99% hype, 10% fraud. Name one invention that ever did anybody any good. Uh, how about... Think about Edison and the light bulb. That was a great invention. Yeah, might have been. If there was anything in this miserable world worth illuminating. The automobile was a great invention, right? You love cars. Yes. If I'm lucky, I may be struck by one today. The telephone. Think how that invention has revolutionized the whole world. Yes. Now a person can be rejected long distance. Help me out here. You're getting on my nerves, Corleone. At <laughs> least you would be if I still cared about anything. Your heart's broken, I know. First breakup's a bitch, but... You'll fall in love again, sooner or later. There's a woman waiting in the wings, and she's worth waiting for. Spare me the platitudes. Now that Edna has <coughs> turned my heart into a desiccated husk, I'm done with love. Forever. We're all depending on you to pull it together. Why, you're gonna put Hill Valley on the map. Oh, please. My greatest fear is that I'll end up frittering my life away in this miserable town. Ah. Uh... You care about me, Doc. <laughs> you? Yeah. You. You did this to me. I did what? I was perfectly content drudging away in my dad's law office. You show up out of nowhere, get me all excited about inventing, and disappear. Two months later, you show up again, you trick me into making a hero out of myself and getting involved with Edna Strickland. Then you appear a third time and pretend to be my friend just so you can yank the rug out from under me and send me sprawling into the dirt. Because I'm a top okay, friend. I can work with that. <laughs> Which one find out at the end of this episode? You, Michael Corleone. Or is that even your real name? Marty. My name is Marty. Oh, so everything you've told me has been a lie. More or less. Why? Why did you ruin my life? Edna was no good for you. She was leading you down the wrong path. I see. You had my best interests at heart. Yeah. Just like my father. But there's more to it, see? Your father doesn't know your true path. And you do? Yes! How is it that I could create a mental alignment meter and yet fail to realize that you are completely delusional? Oh, what does it matter? The world is absurd. No, I know exactly what I'm doing. See? 
I know this may sound crazy, but you gotta listen. In 1985, you're gonna invent a time machine. You're right. It sounds crazy. I'm just trying to explain where I'm coming from. I did it for fun. You ruined my life for fun? Yeah, that's how I get my kicks. You bastard. And all that time you spent building up my dreams telling me I was gonna be a great scientist. Don't stop dreaming. You are going to be a great scientist. Your flattery doesn't work anymore. Yeah, what a laugh. Dreams are only for people with guts enough to follow them. You're saying I don't have guts? You? <laughs> Look at you. What do you know? A person like you? You don't know the <laughs> first thing about me. I have more dreams in my little finger than you'll ever have. Hey, daydreams don't count. Daydreams? That's what they said to Edison. That's what they said to Einstein. That's what they said to Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, and look what they accomplished. I'm sick of people telling me what I can and can't do. First my father, then Edna, now you. Listen to me, good. From now on, I'm living my life my way. I'm taking my own advice and I'm following my own ideas. My ideas. Do you hear me? My ideas. Great Scott. I've got it. Got what? The solution. My invention. I know how to make it work. The mental alignment meter? No, no. My airborne personal transport device. The rocket car? Not rockets. Not rockets at all. That was my mistake. The basic idea was sound, but the propulsion system was unworkable. But the lightning. The lightning. Suddenly, the answer is clear. It came to me all at once. Like... Like a bolt of lightning? Exactly! Static electricity! Super I and I static electricity powering the asynchronous oscillation of frictionless plates inside the what's this stupid thing doing on my head? Damn it! Hey, you're, you're you again! <laughs> Here I've been wasting my time with silly mind reading tricks when there's serious science to be done. <gasps> that stupid and the thing. Expo begins at eight. Put the future back to the one it was. Let's get the hell out of here before anything else happens. What? I said, let's get out uh -oh. of here before anything. <gasps> Expo's already started. Right, this is what we'll do. Go to the hatch. And then down here there will be... Emmett's helmet. I don't think he needs it now. I can't undo the knot. Sure, there's something else down here, isn't there? And I'm sure that I had to come down here to get something else. Should I go for help? Ah! Better not leave him. Uh, uh. I guess I've got to do something up here first, have I? Oh, hang on, I'm not. I wasn't planning on doing anything else. <laughs> can't swing on it while it's still attached to the statue. Ah, uh, yeah, right. So, I th this is what I first thought. I'm sure it's... I've got it already because I can't see it anywhere else. No? Hang on. I won't have to talk to him yet. This rope is made of solid hemp. I can't tear it loose. It's not going anywhere. Hey, Emmett! What? I guess he can't hear me from down here. Yeah, right. It's been a while since I've done this bit, so you got to give me a bit of time. Hang in there! I don't have a choice! Emmett! What? I'm sorry I had to get you so upset. See, I figured you needed to... Forget it! This isn't the time for long-winded explanations. Got anything useful on you? Only my wallet. Oh, and this portable anti-stick, anti-stain formula. Don't! Oh. Hey! 
hang in there. Very funny. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Emmett solution. This stuff's dangerous. Come on, I, I remember it doing this before. This one, what? It won't, unless. I know this is the way to do it, but... Ah, gotcha! Let's get out of here! Your pants! They're stuck! Do something before we're crushed! Ah. It's not going anywhere. Do then. I'm so confused. I can't know what to do. Can I do Emmett and statue? It's got to be something on. What are you doing? Trust me. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it might have What did you say your name was again? Marty. Marty? Thanks. Don't mention it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. <sighs> tungsten. <sighs> the catalyst will need to be made out of tungsten, given the temperature within the converter will no doubt be intense. We'll have to harvest the filaments from all the light bulbs in my house. Your invention? You think you can finish it before the end of the expo? Think? I've got to. My future depends on it. Then let's go. Of course, the oscillating plates will need to be calibrated precisely. Even the slightest misalignment could cause the magnetic field to fluctuate in intensity, leading to sudden shifts in polarity. The results could conceivably be catastrophic. Ah, who cares? My thought exactly. Science should be messy and unpredictable, or else where's the fun of it? To the expo. Trophy earned. Need a lift? Mr. Sagan, got the kinks worked out of your car of the future? Uh, not all of them, but at least the DeLorean's mundane terrestrial functionality remains intact. As usual, I have not the slightest idea what you're talking about. In fact, you so can get away with it when it's a car of the future. So what I used to... <laughs> oh dear. There, there, my dear you spoke down the speaking to ask this home. Maybe for everyone else, but I suddenly feel very much like someone who's going to be alone and unloved for a very long time. Maybe I should get a cat. Nonsense. I can state with nearly 100% certainty that you're going to have a long and fulfilling life. How can you know that? I think you'll find I know almost everything worth knowing about you and young Emmett and his friends. Tell me, how much do you know about Michael Corleone? Oh, that's the end of that. And it's one episode to go! Let me explain it again. 
I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. It was science. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. If Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Doc. Alright, let's have a, ch quite, uh, a test, see if it works. I don't know why that doesn't work. Oh, just have to do the credits again. So I'm going to try to mess the Hutchinson. Go search her up. But I can't. Oh, I can't. Can I? I will look her up. I can't remember. Oh. It should. The credits shouldn't be that long. Like just a minute. That doesn't matter. It's a shame I can't go out of it. There yeah, it comes. Luckily, it's not fucking like ten minutes or something. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be screwed. Kind of a good old mat. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh, that's not delivery. Wanna play the game? There's no one there. Right. Come on, last episode. Imagine if I press the wrong one. <laughs> oh! Hello? Marty! You're awake! Good! Ack! Uh, Emmett! Uh, where are you? I'm down at the expo. I snuck out early to avoid my pop. If he knew I was about to make a publicly scientific spectacle of myself, he'd hit the roof. Why didn't you wake me up? I tried to give you a nudge before I left, but you were practically comatose. How long has it been since you slept? Aside from being knocked unconscious, I'm not really sure. Anyway, I left you back at the lab to perform an important mission. On the table next to my law books, there's a device plugged into the wall. I, uh, I think I see it. Is it glowing? Yeah, is that good? Good? It's fantastic! Glowing means my static accumulator is charged up and ready for action. Bring it Just down over 40 minutes to this cost. What? Edna. But okay, Emmett. One static accumulator coming up. Yeah. Jeez, Doc. Watch out! You almost ran me over. Sorry about that, Martin. This vehicle is sometimes difficult to control. Uh, yeah. Hey, are you okay? After that argument about Emmett last night... I'm fine. Thank you for asking. So, how are the time circuits? Still broken, 
I've got a few ideas, but I'm occupied with other problems today. So is that what I'm destined to build for the expo? Yeah, it's a static accumulator. Emmett spent all night building it. Turned out he didn't really need to see Frankenstein after all. He just needed a little push. And, and some lightning. Fascinating. I also had an epiphany last night. Doc? I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. Doc! It was science! You can't give up science. You love science. Correction. My younger self loves science. But if Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Another path? What other path? I don't know. Architecture, automobile repair, taxidermy. Maybe I'll even pursue a life in law like my father always wanted. As long as Emmett steers clear of science, Edna and I will be free to be happy together. You can't want Emmett back with Edna. She used you to turn Hill Valley into a police state. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. But if I don't become a scientist, she'll never get the chance to vent her crazier ambitions. Doc, I'm begging you. You haven't thought this through. Haven't I? I guess we'll both find out. One thing's for sure. Emmett Brown's life will be a whole lot less complicated without a time machine in it. No! Ah! What the hell? Where'd it go? Oh, come on! <laughs> Here, little static thingy. One more try. Gotcha! <laughs> She got bad. The day of invention is at hand. It's a mystic futuristic wonderland. Just around the bend, my friend, you'll see a dream or two. If you care to dream and dare to dream, your dreams can all come true. There's a world of wondrous wonder on display. Because the future is coming oh, today. today. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all, but... I thought you fired her. I found a loophole. What kind of loophole? Just a loophole. You're not the only one who's allowed to have secrets, you know. All right, all right. Say, don't you have to get that whatchamacallit to Emmett Brown's booth? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, right. The future is coming. coming. It's almost here now. The future is coming. It's getting clear now. The future is coming. Oh, I thought she got clapped before. How oh, dare you! I'm clapping her so back you. And here he comes, right on cue. No doubt he'll try to talk you out of it, Detective, but you mustn't let your resolution waver. Hello, Corleone. What's going on here? Well, uh, Miss Strickland here seems to think, uh... You should step aside and let the officer do his duty. Now. Wait a minute, that's Emmett's levitator up there. Oh, don't be so modest. I'd say you deserve at least half the credit. It was you who tricked poor Emmett into breaking up with me. It was you who manipulated him into dropping my project in favor of this clear hazard to public safety. 
It was my plan to get him back to inventing what he should be inventing. What's your point? Oh, I think you know exactly what my point is. Emmett's invention isn't going to work, is it? At least not the way poor Emmett thinks it is. How do you know this? I had a very interesting chat with Carl Sagan last night. I found out who Michael Corleone really is, and where he comes from. Is there something you want to tell me, Michael? Why don't you call him by his real name? <laughs> Yakov Shmirnov. Thanks a lot, Doc. A foreign agitator bent on sowing chaos and destruction in the Hill Valley Expo. And you don't believe any of this bullshit, do you? Shmirnov. Yeah, Gov, but I really don't have a choice. Very good. And now, arrest this subversive. Come here. Look, here's the thing. I happen to believe this dame's got a screw loose. But she's been getting some clout in town, ever since that business with Kid Tannen. But Emmett's gotta fly that electrokinetic levitator at this demo. His whole future depends on it. And my future depends on making sure he doesn't. The chief reads her column religiously. And, well, if I don't do what she says, she's gonna start a campaign to have certain tainted officers removed from the force. Isn't there anything I can do? Not unless you've got some dirt on Edna. Something that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. Well? <laughs> I'll dig something up. You do that. In the meantime, you and young Mr. Brown better... Uh, where is he, anyway? Wait, you haven't seen him? Emmett? Has this foreign radical done something to my Emmett? Maybe you should find him. Oh! You're letting him go? This radical subversive? Just like that? Okay, so, I gotta find Emmett. And do something about Edna. The future is coming! It's going on now. The future is coming. Uh, this guy will recognize me now. Watch. How about an algae cake? Sure thing, Mister. Wait a minute. You're the guy that makes the algae cakes? But I thought you couldn't stand them. Hey, you're the guy that tried to pick up on my Eunice. <laughs> oh, for the love of no algae cakes for you, Buster. I've got some anyway. Oh no! Oh no! Well, I was there before when I was at the church, the uh, church, the courthouse with Emmett. Right. No energy cakes for you, mister. The water. Like, what, what, who's paying me that? 1986? Nah. <laughs> I thought you would have said something like, I don't think he wants to see that I'm from the future. <laughs> Algae cakes taste so enlightenment awaits you under the sea. Where do I get the tickets? Oh, I ain't, I've got them from Trixie. The future is coming. It's coming on now. The future is coming today. Hi, Trixie. That's techni to you, kiddo. <laughs> right. Uh, congratulations uh. on getting the old job back. Thanks. Justice triumphs in the end, you know. Now, what can I do you for? So, which exhibits do you recommend? The most popular attractions are the Glass House, the Future Furnishings, and of course, Enlightenment Under the Sea. You know who that is under the diving helmet? That's Jacques Duteau himself! Of course, you need to get tickets if you want to see the main attractions. How much are tickets? Aw, oh, put your money away. Here, you're kind of like family now, you know? Thanks. Oh. You seen Emmett around? I'm kind of worried that he's not at his booth. Hmm, let me think. Uh, yeah. He wandered down that way a little while ago. He was talking real intense with another guy. Older guy? Looked a lot like Emmett in the face? Yeah. Uh, uncle or something? Or something. Look, Emmett's demonstration has hit a snag or two. Can you delay his act for a while? Let someone else go before him? Sorry, I don't set the roster, and they won't let me change it. Uh, I can drag my feet a little, but uh, if your friend's not ready to go on pretty soon, we might have to skip his act. Uh, I mean, demonstration. But you can't! Hey, it's just a science demo. It ain't a matter of life and death. 
What time is Emmett supposed to go on? Let's see, eight kilobeats past 50. We're on metric time here at the Hill Valley Expo. Edna Strickland is trying to get Emmett's booth shut down. That dame don't know how to mind her own business, does she? Is there anything you can do uh, to get Emmett's booth open again? <sighs> I wish there was, but I'm just a muse. All we can do is inspire people. Okay, you're a muse. Can you inspire me an idea? I'll try. Well? Maybe it doesn't take effect right away. Artie told me how you managed to get your old job back. He did? But it was supposed to be a secret. There's no secrets between us. He couldn't resist telling such a good story. Yeah? Still, I'd like to hear it again, uh, from your point of view. He didn't tell you anything. Come on, Trixie. I'm dying to know how you got the job back. You won't hear it from me. I don't talk out of turn. Thanks. Happy to help. A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? It's a bug. No, a plant. But it's got a wire recorder hidden inside, see? If we could have got one of these into Tannen's speakeasy, and if he's the kind of guy who talks to plants, we could have busted him a lot earlier. Well, speak of the devil. The amazing inebriomatic. Well, from what the boys in the lab tell me, someday we'll be able to tell whether people have been drinking just by breathing into a machine like this. <laughs> I, don't I don't think so. The electro pacifier. Amazing, isn't it? They say one day we'll be able to stun fleeing criminals by shocking them at a distance. Does it work? Kaiser. It's just a model. Now, where were we? I know how I'm gonna get this right. That 25, just over 25 minutes, you say. This plant doesn't belong here. There's nothing futuristic about it. A fully equipped home entertainment center. So, where's the ColecoVision? Alright, just these. In the house of the future, fresh fruit baskets will be replenished daily by fleets of fruit bearing helicopters. Duh! Ah, oh, it's wax! <laughs> that happened in 2015! <laughs> Button. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Hey! Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. What? That is not a recognized option. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. Klondike 4385. Brown residence. Hey, Hampton. How's it hanging? This is Marty, Emmett's friend. Is he there? Not at the moment. I'm afraid he's off on one of his little adventures. Thanks. Bye. Farewell. Conversation terminated. <laughs> that voice freaks me Greetings out. Greetings again, mortals. This is Tech 
me, muse of progress. Hoping you're all having a swell time taking in all the exhibits. Don't forget, you can purchase tickets to our main attractions right here at the information booth. Right, I'm going to do that blue button next. Come on. In the mood for fun, the house of the future comes equipped with a modern home entertainment center. Chinese checkers and everything. Right, back out. And we'll swap the plants. <laughs> he shook his head like I done something wrong. Oh, I did, but he didn't realise. Ah! Now this is what to do. <laughs> okay, call me a snoop. Yeah, you gonna rise that, mate? I'm gonna bat in the house. I'll catch you new actually clunky bit. Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Here gratification is just always a push of a button away. Oh, hey, what well, up? In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. Klondike 4253. Hill Valley Expo, where the future is coming today. This is Checkney News of Progress. To whom am I speaking? This is Carl Sagan. Ooh, the mysterious Mr. Sagan. What do you want? Can you put Edna Strickland on the phone for me? Sure thing, Mr. Sagan. Hey, Strickland! Somebody actually wants to talk to you. <laughs> Mr. Sagan, I didn't expect to hear from you again till after the expo. You didn't? Yes. Wasn't that part of our plan? Yes, our plan. How about that plan. I'm a little unclear on the details of our plan. Unclear? But it's your plan. I mean, I I'm worried that you're a little unclear on the details. What details? All I'm supposed to do is use my pole with Detective Parker to get Emmett's demonstration cancelled while you keep Emmett distracted. You are keeping him distracted, aren't you? Oh yes, he's a very distractible young man. Oh, that's what I keep telling everyone. Regarding, uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, the little matter we were whispering about yesterday. Oh, that? As a matter of fact, I'm glad you brought it up. I was thinking, wouldn't it be a good idea to pin it all on Yakov Shmirnov? Uh, uh pin what on him exactly? You know, it! Oh, I get it. You're still sore about going to jail. Uh, that was the dog's fault. If he hadn't come glumping up to me right after I started the fire, I could have gotten clean away. And I never would have had to divert suspicion to you. She's the speakeasy arsonist. Carl, is somebody with you? No, it's just you and me. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. Every night they'd open up their doors serving illegal drinks and loose women, flaunting their depravity to the world. Dun, and the dun, authorities dun. did nothing. So I did what any right-thinking, rock-willed woman would do. I took action. Oh, and such a gorgeous action it was, too. 
The fires were so beautiful. <laughs> the alcohol made them go up in such pretty blue flames. What bitch? In the... Where was I? Real time, I've got away with it all them years. The speakeasies. Oh my yes. god. Did you find my answer to your liking? It was very revealing. Hang up. What? Conversation terminated. Jeez, Edna was always a loon. I hope that confession's good enough for Parker. Next up on our roster, a man who saw the possibilities in Pond Scum. Welcome, Ernest Philpot! But he like the lady said, I labor in the field of porn scum. Algae, ladies and gentlemen, is a mysterious and little known biological entity. Two diligence study. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. I think a lot of people are gonna be interested in that answer. Hey, Danny. Do you mind, comrade? We're busy trying to protect the expo from the likes of you. This will only take a minute. Our plant recorder. It's not a good idea to steal police property, you know. Listen. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. <laughs> Detective Parker. Surely you're not going to believe this crudely manufactured <laughs> forgery of a recording. I'm not sure what to believe, ma'am. But based on this crudely manufactured forgery, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to come down to the station to answer a few questions about your whereabouts on the night of the speakeasy fires. Oh, very well. I... Heavens, what's that? <laughs> you know, one of these days I should really stop falling for that. Hey, does this mean that the barricades can come down from Emmett's booth? Let's take that as a yes. And it's gotta be around here somewhere. Thank you, Ernest. Do be sure to drop by his booth and sample an algae cake. I have, and it was Possible. very Give me one. interesting. Just because he thought I had a happy woman. I'll be back later to highlight another of our fine exhibitors. See you soon. Excuse me, Mr. Dudo, Jacques Dudo, at your service. I'm looking for a friend of mine, Emmett Brown. Tall young guy, reddish brown hair. A distracted look? That's him. Any idea where he went? He just passed by here with an older gentleman. I think they were added into the house of glass. Great, thanks. Mr. Dudo? Oui? Jacques Duteau, famous diver. So you're some kind of celebrity? I do not like to brag, but uh, I have a small following, yes. <laughs> I guess people are always bugging you for autographs, huh? Asking you to tell them stories about your adventures and stuff. It gets a bit old, but I can always retreat to the depths. The fish are much less uh, uh, demanding. Could I get a ride in that bathosphere? Certainement. If you've got the ticket. Here's my ticket. Give me a ride in that thing. Thank you, monsieur. I hope you will find your trip to the bottom of the sea most enlightening. I've got a trophy for going all these rides. I think there's only the third. Well, it's this only the only ride we're in. I hit this guy again. How about an algae cake? One algae cake coming right ahead. Wait a minute. It's you. Forget it, mister. 
It won't work. What if I had the moustache? She'd probably not recognise me. Oh, how about a ticket? I don't think so. The future is coming. Hey, Artie, what do you think? Quite a setup. Oh, well, what? Just on the expo? Thing? Sure, but I was wondering. Emmett's in the glass house with Carl Sagan. Then you found him. Oh, good. It's not good. Sagan's gonna make him miss his demo. What are you? His mother? I'm sure <laughs> he can take care of himself. Is there any way you can delay Emmett's demo? He ran into some last-minute turbulence. Emmett's already pushed his luck by substituting this electrokinetic whatsis for the mental alignment meter he was supposed to be showing. I can't alter his place on the roster, too. The board would get the idea I was showing favoritism. You sure you can't just push Emmett's slot back a little? I could eliminate it altogether. Would that work for you? What? I was just remembering a time when you refused to take me to the zoo. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> Come on, you can tell me. How did you manage to get Trixie your job back? I thought her being Canadian was a deal breaker. If something's really important to you, you find a way. You ought to know that. See you around. Right, so don't talk to everybody. Hey, Emmett, come out of there. Don't listen to him. Perfect. The house of Galeus. We do this in time of the hour. Atlas House of Glass, the future of domestic life. Okay, Emmett, let's get you out of here. Emmett! Emmett, don't listen to him. He, he's crazy. I'm still not sure about this business proposal, Mr. Sagan. Let me explain it again. Atlas Glass, unbreakable and soundproof. Soundproof glass. Great. <laughs> to meet the needs of any family. Need a private study? Simply slide the walls in, or slide them out again to create a spacious banquet hall. Alright, so it's a little while since I'm... Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I've got to do this one first. Uh Right. It's I sort of get this pattern now at the moment. Don't it? What's this handle do? I know what to do. Something's blocking it. Well, I wonder what happened there. Oh, just got over ten minutes. Or maybe just under ten minutes. I want to stop early.
Hang on. Stephen, this is a fool. We already did that one. Okay, now what? Oh. Yeah. That's right. a few of the many marvelous tools that our boys in blue will soon have at their disposal. The criminal element has truly met his match today. Officer Parker? Uh, it seems our next exhibitor is unavoidably detained, but I'm sure his presentation would have been both enlightening and exciting. Um, how about a round of applause just for the heck of it? Yay! Well, is that catching that itch, right? So who cares? I think that's supposed to be a clock. So hang on, I forgot that. I've got one that. I've got on that. Convention special: two free algae cakes with every visit. Welcome to the phone booth of the future, made with Atlas Glass. Atlas, unbreakable and soundproof. Our phone is hands-free, so you can enjoy a sandwich or a cigarette while chatting with friends in perfect privacy. Would you like to place a call? Yes, I'd like to talk to... Unfortunately, this phone booth only accepts incoming calls. <laughs> Here's my ticket. Give me a ride in that thing. I don't think so. What do you mean? I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. It's uh, uh, the, the wrong kind of ticket. Sorry. I know you're in there, Doc. Doc? Yes, I am a doctor of uh, marine biology, but I fail to understand what... <laughs> Quit fooling around, Doc. What have you done with Stop! Emmett? Stop! Help! I'm being attacked! Michael! What are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors. You don't understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boy's obviously uh, confusing. I'll say he is. You want I should toss him out on his ear? That won't be necessary. Do you know who that is? That's Jock Duto of the Oceanic Institute. No, it's not. It's... Please keep it down. The expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duto. We can't afford to antagonize him. But if you've got a complaint against him, we can uh, straighten uh, it out after the show. Over, but if about you make minutes. another scene like that, I'm afraid I'm going to have you expelled from the hall. Yo, Doc. You would like to learn about the mysteries under the sea? Yeah, that's exactly what I want to learn about. I know you're in there, Doc. I don't know what you're talking about. Professor Duto, huh? At your service. Hmm. What have you done with the real Professor Duto? I'm not sure I like your insinuations. I'm not sure I like you kidnapping Emmett. Perhaps I should call the authorities and have you removed from the hall. You're a cold-blooded guy, Duto. Say la vie. Take off your helmet. I prefer to leave it on. The inland air is difficult on my sinuses. Hmm. Where'd you stash Emmett? In the diving bell? It's called a bathosphere. Aha! 
So Emmett is in the bathosphere. I don't know what you're talking about. I think I'm gonna take a closer look at that bathosphere. Not without a ticket, I'm afraid, sir. Hey! Is this guy trying to bum a free ride? No. See that you don't. Feels good to be on the right side of the law. <laughs> God's sake, God, just over three minutes. Take a ride in a bathosphere. Your bathosphere. I'd like to see the inside of it. Can't get in without a ticket, I'm afraid. You're not going to get away with this, you know. As they say in my country, que sera, sera. Uh. I should get a trophy there, shouldn't I? No? What track should I never have been on? Hey, Artie. That's Carl Sagan in the deep sea diving suit, and he's holding Emmett captive in the bathosphere. You're making a pretty serious allegation, mister. I'll have to look into it. Right after the show. This ticket should get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure, that's a pee ticket. Well, the guy at the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm, there must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Professor Duteau, this young man claims you refuse to take his ticket. Not at all. I'm only too happy to take his ticket. Please, climb the ladder, and I will raise the path of sphere. Oh my god. Can run out of time. Do. What is the matter? The gears, uh, they must have become stuck. I am afraid I cannot raise the bathosphere at this moment. What a shame. Yes, it is, it is, it is. Well, I will work on the problem. Perhaps if you come back later. Come down, please. The bathosphere exhibited. Step back! You're crimping the hose! What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? It's very bad form. Oh, sorry. Hiya, folks. It's me, Techni, Muse of Progress. Gracing you once again with my presence. And speaking of presents, what better gift could Hill Valley offer the world than this yeah, I've got less than a minute. science and technology exhibit? Hey, folks, if you haven't done so already, I urge each and every right one of you after this to take a peek at furnishings of it. the future. It is too right close here to in go. our main hall. Tickets are available from me, Techni. I'll come out, Chuck. Sorry, I've got it. I've got bloody 30 seconds. It's an old nautical superstition. Hey! I'm just gonna keep holding this air tube closed until you raise the bathosphere. I wish you would. Why not? There's nobody in the bathosphere, right? I'll just pause it in ten seconds. Emmett gets no air until you raise the bathosphere. Uh, Emmett? Shit. Who? Emmett, you. And there. Uh...